Welcome back to question 3 for the 2018 level 2 electricity and magnetism paper. So for question 3, it's circuits. So use the following circuit diagram to answer the questions below. Question A, so the total resistance of the above circuit is approximately 10 ohms. For this question, okay, we're gonna, um, we're gonna, so total resistance means total resistance of the circuit. So we know that total resistance of the circuit is equal to the resistance of, um, uh, resistance of series circuits plus the total resistance of the parallel circuit. We also know that R series can be calculated by R1 plus R2, etc. As you can see, bolt 1 is connected in series, so therefore, um, and that's the only component connected in series, so we're going to say that R resistance of the series is equal to 7 ohms. Uh, we also know that the resistance of a parallel circuit, so 1 over the resistance of a parallel circuit equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, etc. And we know that bulb 2 and bulb 3 are connected in parallel. So 1 over R parallel equals to 1 over 4.8 plus 1 over 7. And if we rearrange to find the R, the R in parallel, then you should get, your answer should be uh, 1. They should get that your R parallel equals to 2.85 ohms. Alright, so coming back to our R total, our R total equals to uh, resistance of series plus resistance of parallel. So that equals to R total equals to 7 plus 2.85, which equals to 9.85 ohms. And that's, approxim and that's approximately 10 ohms, given that it's 1 SF, one significant figure. And that will be this question here. And that would be an achieve question, achieve marks there. All right, so calculate the voltages across bulb one and bulb two. All right, so resistance, uh, no, not resistance, voltage across bulb one and bulb two. All right, the easiest way to approach this question is to find the total current, and then using the total current to find the voltage used by bulb one. The voltage in a, the voltages used by the bulb one um, it's different to the voltage used by bulb 2 and the uh, voltage used by the series plus voltage used by parallel equals to the total voltage. So first we want to find out our I total. We know that our resistance total is 9.85 and we know that our V total is 12. So we're going to be using uh, V total equals to I total R total. So 12 equals to uh, I total we don't know times of 9.85 and uh, by doing this, we should find that our I total equals to 1.22 amps. Uh, we know that V equals to IR, and uh, we have the resistance of bulb 1, so we can find out the voltage used by bulb 1. So we can say voltage of bulb 1, bulb 1 equals to uh, 1.22 times the resistance, which is 7, and that should give us the answer of uh, 8.53 volts. Alright, so I was coming back to the point that the total voltage equals to the total voltage used by the series circuit plus the total voltage used by a parallel circuit. The total voltage used by the series circuit is 8.5 is, is 8.53 volts, that's the series. Hence we can say that um to uh R total not R total, V total. V total minus V series is equal to V parallel. Uh, therefore, we can say that vo voltage total is, and the parallel should be uh, that minus that, which is uh, 3.47 volts. And that would be your final answer for bulb 2. You can finally, you can just say a value, you can say bulb 2 has used 3.47 volts because voltage is constant in a, ser in a parallel. And that will be your answer there. And getting both voltages correct, you should get a merit grade here. And to get an achieved grade, you're looking at one. Uh, you're looking at the correct current, actually. Correct current will get you an achieved. Bulbs 2 and 3 are not the same brightness. Discuss which bulb is brighter and why. <coughs> so basically, um, so basically, we're going to have our I total. Uh, I total. 
Our I total is gonna flow from the battery I total, and once it gets here, it's just gonna split. So there's gonna be I one going to bulb two, and then I two going to bulb three. This I one and I two are not the same. Okay, so basically the the majority of the current takes the path of the least resistance. So basically, because bulb two has a lesser resistance than bulb three, more of the I total will go through bulb two rather than bulb three. So hence the the current through bulb 2 will be greater than the current through bulb 3. So therefore we know that P equals to IV. And because P equals to IV and the current through bulb 2 is greater than bulb 3, then the power of bulb 2 will also be greater than the power of bulb 3. So, um... <clears throat> As the bulb 3 are not the same brightness, okay, so basically we can say that, um... Uh, the I total will split takes the, uh, the majority actually the uh, hence as And we're finally going to say that, uh, we're going to say that power depends on brightness. Power depends on brightness. Uh, depends on brightness. Hence, bulb 2, uh, bulb 2 has greater, greater power, hence greater brightness. Uh, if I can fit this in, hence... I cannot fit this in, so basically, because it has um because that's more more power, it will have a greater brightness basically. And uh, to make sure you get the excellence grade here, you probably show some calculations, which is um very important. Okay, so by doing this, okay, that's uh it's pretty simple calculations. Uh, I'm just gonna rub all of this writing out and show you the calculations real quick here. Yeah? So. You're gonna write. You're gonna write this writing, and you're gonna put in some explanation of the not explanation, some calculations as well. All right. So you know that the resistance of bulb two is four point eight ohms, and the car and the, and the voltage is three point four seven volts. So you can say that V equals to IR, and that means uh three point four seven equals to four point eight times of the I. So therefore, the current through bulb one is is I equals to 0 0.723 amps. We also know P equals to IV. P equals to 0 0.2, uh, 0 0.723 times of uh, voltage, which is 3.47. And you should get the power of the power of bulb one, not bulb one, bulb two power uh, equals to 2.51 watts. Uh, for bulb three, for bulb three, we have the same voltage, which is three point four seven, but it has a high resistance, which is seven I. So instead, this time our current will be our current will be zero point four nine six amps, which is less than the current through the bulb two. So once again, P equals to I V. P equals to zero point four nine six times of three point four seven. And you should get that your power through bulb 3, power of bulb 3 is equal to 
1.72 watts. So as you can see, 1.72 is less than 2.51, so therefore, um, bulb, bulb 2 is brighter. And getting everything, uh, both the explanation and both the calculations will definitely get you an excellence grade. And to get a merit grade, you're probably just looking at either calculations or... Alright, so unfortunately the last video got cut off again. Uh, I'm going to redo some parts of the video. So uh, for this, we're up to part D for 2018. So an ideal A meter with negligible resistance is added to the previous circuit as shown below. Discuss the effect of adding the A meter has on the current, the voltage, and hence the brightness of each bulb. Alright, so the A meter has a negligible resistance. So that means a negligible resistance means a resistance of the A meter equals to 0 ohms. Okay, it's negligible. If uh if something of zero ohms is added to a uh in parallel to another to another component, then that component is going to be gone. Uh, it's in scientific terms, it's called short circuit. Uh, remember when I was saying of uh in the last question that the current always takes the path of the lowest resistance. As seen, this A meter has zero resistance. Okay, no resistance. So therefore, this entire I total here. It's going to come to this junction, so the I total is going to come to this junction, and it's going to take the path of the least resistance. However, in this case, the A meter has zero resistance, so therefore, the entire I total is going to go through the A meter. And zero, ohm, uh, zero, zero amps is going to go through bulb 1. So this bulb 1 here, so as P equals to IV, our, our I equals to zero amps now. So therefore, this bulb 1 is going to be short-circuited. So basically, it will blow out. It's going to have zero brightness, and it's not going to work. And that's because all the current goes through the A meter, because um, it always takes the path of the lowest resistance. So it's going to go through the A meter, and the I total is going to come up to here. Uh, that's the main part of this question. However, we've got to, uh, when we add the A meter, so basically, it's the same as saying that the this bulb no longer... It's basically saying that this bulb 1 no longer exists. Uh, this bulb one no longer exists, and therefore this A meter can be considered as a series. Okay, it's considered uh, this this A meter is co uh, is considered to be connected in a series circuit. However, because it's connected in a series circuit and the A meter is zero ohms, then this whole component here is also going to be zero ohms. So basically, uh, the total resistance used to be nine point eight five ohms. But after now it's only two point eight five ohms, okay? Because, uh, because this entire seven ohm bulb one is gone. Just basically the it's n everything here is just a negligible resistance. So the only resistance coming from the bulb two and the bulb three, because the total resistance has de uh total resistance has decreased and the voltage stays the same. So therefore the total current uh the total current of the battery will increase. So the total current of the circuit will increase. Because the total current increases, um, therefore, because bulb 2 and bulb 3 have the same, ha have unchanged resistances, hence uh, more current is going to flow through bulb 2 and more current is going to be flowing through bulb 3. So therefore, because the, uh, because the voltage this, um, um, so basically, um, uh, this 12 volts here is all going to be used on this parallel circuit, and that's because, um, as I was saying, uh, V equals to IR. Because this A meter has 0 ohms, um, resistance is 0, so V equals to 0 I, which means that the voltage through, uh, the voltage used by the A meter is 0, so voltage by the A meter is also 0 volts. So this whole, so basically, let me just get rid of some stuff here. So basically, this entire thing here uses uh, 0 volts. And um, zero amps here. Just everything is just zero. Okay, just as if it doesn't exist anymore. Basically. Um, basically, now we're going to be looking at um, so twelve volts passing through bulb bulb two and twelve volts through bulb three. So the current has increased and the voltage has also increased. P equals to I V. So hence the power will increase. Okay, and that will basically be your explanation to this question. So now we have to write everything down in words. All right, so basically we're going to be, we'll say that, um, by, oh, not red pen, please, black pen, um, by adding the
Alright, so basically in this answer, I've, I've just explained everything I've just said. So basically the short circuit, decreasing the resistance, increasing the current, and increase the, the voltage through the bulb 2 and 3 will also increase, and therefore the power will increase and it will be more bright. So all of these points linked together, you, uh, writing something like this should get you an excellence grade. Um, to get a merit grade, uh, you're looking at, you have to say that bulb 1 goes out, so bulb 1 goes out, so bulb 1 will short circuit, that's point number 1. And you also have to say that bulb 2 and 3 will get brighter. So power of will increase if this is point 2. So 1 plus of 2 will equal a merit grade. And to get an achieved grade, it's either 1 or 3. So basically, no, 1 or 3. It's either point 0.1 or point 0.2. So point 0.1 or point 0.2 will get you unachieved. Alright, and that's it for this paper. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching the video. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you. Bye.